Hello everyone and welcome to the Sacramento Beer Show. Today I'm going to try a beer from Hen House Brewing out of Santa Rosa, California. This is called IPA, Incredible Pale Ale. Um, this is a 6.9% ABV beer. Um, let's see what the uh, uh, brewers have to say about this beer on the can. Um, Hen House IPA is the dankness. Your life is the light. Go into the dankness. It's what you want. A dankalicious blend of Cascade, Mosaic, Belma, Hellertau, Blanc, and Simcoe hops lend a depth of tropical and piney flavors to this wildly aromatic hop monster and lend a depth of goodness to your life. These cans are perishable and this beer expires in 21 days. Do not save, drink now, like right now. Why are you still reading this? You're wasting time. Hop aromatics start to fade the moment the beer is packaged and heat speeds up the process to so stop warming up this can. Drink the beer, come into the dankness. Hen House IPA. Now that last bit there about drinking within three weeks is on all of their cans, but it's fun to read, so I did so. Um, this one is actually past its prime. Um, this one was canned on 9-26-2017. Today is November 6th. So, over a month old, but uh, let's see how this one drinks. Sonoma County, California. Hen House, Incredible Pale Ale. All right, ready for the pour. Bring a kind of golden, um, very hazy, um, but definitely golden, like a uh, super gold, almost like apricot or apricot, depending on where you're from, type of orange color, um, a golden orange with a nice uh, white finger of fluffy, fluffy, fluffy white head. Um, a nice tight bubble on that. Uh, gentle cascades of carbonation down the sides of the glass. But this is opaque. Um, you know, the, the golden orange color is pretty. If the color was different, this would look almost murky. But um, this is looking really Really interesting. Nothing on the can about northeast or um, hazy or anything like that. Just saying that this is dankness and we have to go into the dankness and this is the dankness. So let's uh, let's give it a sniff. All right. So I'm getting some dank, piney, resinous hop aromas. This beer is, as I said, uh, over a month old, month and a half old. They want me to drink it within three weeks. I can only imagine how big and aggressive that greenness was um, a month ago. Underneath that piney resinousness, I am getting some tropical fruits, some citrus fruits. Getting a lot of guava. Maybe a little passion fruit as well. And then just like this orange grapefruit thing, which is something typical to a West Coast style. And typically you would describe West Coast as dank, so interesting there. The head, um, is holding up surprisingly well, given how hazy this is. I find common in a lot of these hazy, especially these like super hazy, almost murky beers that the head is just like disappears the second you pour it. And this is still looking uh, fluffy. So I think uh, I've spent enough time talking about this one. Let's uh, dive into it, shall we? Wow.
Now I'm drinking this ice cold. Just came out of the refrigerator. Man, if you told me that this was tropical fruit juice, like an orange passion fruit guava with some pineapple, maybe a little mango, and it was just fizzy fruit juice. Maybe it was left to ferment. It's slightly alcoholic. I mean, you know you're drinking a, an alcoholic beverage. There is alcohol there, but don't let me lead you to believe it's boozy in any in any way. Perfectly balanced hop bitterness with malt. Sweetness. The malt character is almost non existent. It's uh, ethereal. But the sweetness it's bringing is very much there. Reinforcing that juice, juiciness quality this has. And then the bitterness, sort of this juicy grapefruit pith. Wow. Backing it up with the bitter. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent stuff. I think last time I had a henhouse beer on the Sack Beer Show, I gave it 100 points. There is nothing wrong with this beer. This is an A-plus beer. This is a 100-point beer as well. Well done, Henhouse. I really want to try this fresh now. Man, and this nice mouthfeel too. It's not too thin. It's not too heavy. It's not chewy. It's just, it's just right. The Goldilocks of beer, ladies and gentlemen. This is an incredible pale ale. Who am I kidding? It's an IPA. But it is incredible. 100 points. If you can get this one where you are, definitely seek it out. Check it out. Um, if you want to trade with me for something, would definitely be up to that. Let me know in the comments below. If you've had this beer, I'd love to know what you thought. Let me know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Join me soon, and I will try another beer. Or maybe wine. Never know. Cheers.